KSBW Weather with Jim Vanderswan. All right, we're sticking by it. Promised you a pretty good weekend. It's looking all right, but there are some little wrinkles we have to talk about here. We have some fog and low clouds still along the coast, just working back into the Salinas Valley. Nothing unusual with that. A few little high clouds for those who aren't in the fog get a nice sunset. We expected cooler temperatures. Got them. 70s now. Boulder Creek, Ben Lomond. Remember, just a couple of days ago, we were doing 90s up there, so yeah, it's cooled off a bit. And we got 60s. No big changes along the coast. Been pretty much running that for the last couple of two or three days. 77 in the Carmel Valley, about 10 degrees cooler than what we had yesterday. And 68 in Salinas, and then only 10 degrees warmer in King City. Also, a drop back there a little bit because that warm air is gone. About 82 in Gilroy, 79 in Hollister, and in Morgan Hill, 71 in San Jose. All told, it was still a really, really nice day. Still had some 80s and a couple of 90s left over up in Redding, Red Bluff, down around Palm Springs. Vegas barely hit 90. So, as you know, the days are getting shorter. We're starting to get closer to fall. Really feels like fall in other parts of the country. 58 in Denver, all the way down to Albuquerque, those chilly temperatures stretching all along the northern tier. The bottom end is quite a bit warmer by 20 to 30 degrees, and that means trouble. Of course it does. Low pressure system, leftover subtropical moisture, that boundary layer, that uh, is what causes thunderstorms to get very, very active all the way to the mid-Atlantic. Watch these boomers come up here in Texas. Those are getting a little bit nasty. They're small cells. They don't look like much. When you look at this, it's just basically rain. These are the intense thunderstorms that will drop a lot of hail, a lot of wind, and a lot of downpours on relatively flat. Texas, so it's going to get interesting tonight. Continues in the lower Mississippi River Valley tomorrow, all the way up to Appalachia and about the northeast by the time the day is done. So you're going to get some good boomers there, probably back up a few flights. Scattered stuff in the Pacific Northwest. Nothing heavy duty yet. This system right here, low pressure has been spinning around here for a week now, and that, of course, a lot of wind with that, and that's generating a northwest swell that's going to start sliding down the west coast here over the course of the weekend. So that's something you got to watch out for. Pressure gradient still on shore through tomorrow and then you need see this little buckle in the surface pressure gradient right there that means the wind is blowing from land to sea so we get the offshore flow for a day the pool of warm air right along the coast for just about a day or so and then it moves inland and then a cold front comes down the line huffing and puffing making for rain in northern california whether it's going to make it to our sky tuesday night and wednesday it's still borderline some models say yay some say nay uh, but i'm going to go with a chance fog and low clouds barely in the valleys it stays a little bit cool along the coast again but by Sunday, watch the fog go away with that offshore flow. Temperatures warm up all the way to the beaches, although not as hot as last weekend, but you're going to notice the difference. As the offshore flow comes in, though, come the winds up in the North Bay starting tomorrow already. Santa Cruz Mountains under a red flag warning starting early Sunday morning, about 3 a.m. Winds could gust about 30 or 40 miles an hour, and dew points hit the bottom. They get down to the single digits and teens, which means very high fire danger. So let's be a little extra careful. So you got your 70s and 80s. 80s coming back on the map again tomorrow. 80s to maybe low 90s. Well, Gilroy probably one of the warmer spots tomorrow, but everybody gets a little more of that come Sunday. 75 Salinas back in the 80s instead of 70s in the Salinas Valley, so we'll ramp those up. We'll go along the peninsula, we'll go with mid 60s, upper 60s, a couple of 70s, just a few degrees, but you'll notice the difference on Sunday. 79 in Santa Cruz looks like a butte. 80s in the Santa Cruz Mountains and most lows in the 50s. Tonight we're clear, some low clouds just around the Salinas Valley and the Bay. Locally might make it down about Greenfield or so. If you're lucky, but won't be around long there. The valleys will clear off. Just a little local fog. Boom. Then sunny and warm. A little breeze in the afternoon. And that will become more north northeast on Sunday. Morning fog, then sunshine, and probably no fog for a couple days thereafter on the beaches. With that, we're going with 80s and then, well, mid 80s to upper 90s on Sunday in the valleys. But by the middle of the week, you're back into the 70s with a chance of some rain, particularly for the north end of our viewing area Wednesday, maybe again Friday and Saturday. Saturday. That's a 50-50 split right now. One of the models that far out says, yep, wet. The other one says, nope, never mind. It's all going to be up north of us. So we're going to just wait it out. We've got plenty of time. So we'll get a chance of some rain, possibly on Wednesday. Again, probably the north end of our viewing area, if that goes. And then it looks like that pattern may go off and on again for the rest of October. So first half of October, nice and warm and dry. We can make the second half about cool and wet. That would be just hunky dory, as they used to say. Yeah. Get that started early. Yeah. So Absolutely. we'll see what how it plays out. Good Nonetheless, stuff. you get a nice weekend. It's great for the races and for the air show and for anything else going on. So good stuff. All, All right. right. Very All good. Right. Here's your